In this video, I'm going to show you how you can monitor who uses your reports in the Power BI service. I'm going to show you the easy way of how you can find and generate this report easily using the Power BI service and also how you can connect and get this data for your own and customize it for your own purposes. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So monitoring who and how your users use your reports is a good idea, especially if you're looking to make improvements. You want to know which reports will have the biggest impact based on their usage. Luckily, Power BI provides a built-in way for you to do this in the Power BI service. So let's have a look at how you can do that. So this is the Power BI service, which is where you publish and distribute your reports. In my workspace, you'll see that I have a bunch of demo reports here. And let's take an example here, which is the analyzing sales reports. And it's a very simple report that simply just analyzes sales for a fictional company. And let's say we want to know how many users actually use this report. Now to do that, you need to simply just go to more options here and open usage metrics. If you've never opened the report metrics for a report before, it will generate this first, but once it does, it will take you to this page. So you'll notice that this report and the layout looks familiar because it's essentially an internal Power BI report, which gives you a few insights like the number of views that your reports get per day, who the viewers are, what platform they use, is it mobile or desktop. You can even see distribution methods or which report pages are used very often. Now obviously because this Power BI service is only mine for demo purposes, you won't see anyone but myself here. However, if you're working in an organization that uses a lot of Power BI, this page will be a lot more useful than what I'm showing now. So because this report is internal within the Power BI service, just bear in mind that you are very limited to what you can do with it. And another thing to bear in mind is that the data is not live. So it says here in the description that there is a delay of up to 24 hours for any changes to appear in the report. So you can see here that we have a total of 48 reports in the organization and that this report that we looked at is in the rank nine. If you want to see how your reports rank against each other, you have to go to a workspace and get the usage metrics from there. So let's take an example here. Let's go to the demo workspace. And this is a workspace that I created for certain demo purposes. And it also has a collection of reports and other reporting elements in here. So let's take one example here. Let's take headcount analytics. Let's open it and let's do the same thing. Let's click open usage metrics. So in this page is exactly the same page that we were looking at before in the context of the headcount analytics report. So this is a uh, report that is rank seven out of the 48 reports in our organization. What you'll notice is a new option on the top right, new usage reports. Now it's currently turned off and this option is not available if you have reports in your workspace. The reports need to be in a workspace for this to show up on the top right. This is off by default. However, if you toggle it to turn on, it will give you something like this. This page, as you'll notice, is a very modern looking version of the usage reports, which uses the same data, but presented in a much better way. So this version has a few pages along with it, which is an upgrade from before. You have obviously the first one, which gives you the overall information that the original one gave. There's a new page here called report performance, which shows how fast your report loads for your users. We also have a report list here, which ranks the reports that we have in the workspace against each other based on different things like views, 
unique users, or even trends. There's even an FAQ section which lists out all the terminologies that are being used in the report. So this report is pulling from the same data as the previous one that we were looking at, which is the internal data sets that the Power BI service generates. As I mentioned, you are very limited to what you can do with it, but because it's a data set, you can pull from it the same way that you do with shared data sets. So what do I mean by pull from it, right? So if we go to a Power BI desktop here, for example, let's select Data Hub here and let's try to get data from Power BI data sets. So if you've looked and generated a report usage metrics before, it should show up here as a data set. You also have to just make sure that you are logged in to the same Power BI service that you were using before in the web in order to see the data sets that you have available to you. So in this case, we're just going to select the usage metrics report here and click connect. And that's really it. So you now have access to the data set, the same data set that that report uses. So data like tables, columns, even measures or calculations that they use, you can simply just borrow from here and use it yourself to create your own report. And the great thing is because it's connected to that data set, as soon as the data set gets updated, so does your report. So there's not a lot of maintenance involved with just connecting your data into that internal data set. So this way you can obviously build your own usage metrics report. But an even more efficient way that you can customize usage metrics is to use a template, which if you tried to look for a usage metrics report template in Google, you'll find a lot of them out there. Now, because the format of the usage metrics dataset stays the same for all the reports published in the service, people have created templates that you can simply plug and play, which automatically builds a custom visual page for you. And that's really it for this video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with the report usage metrics report, how you can generate it in the Power BI service, and how you can connect to the data set to create and customize your own one. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.